the title you see is correct. But before we get to that portion, this episode began like any other. Hello everybody! My name is Redblocks and welcome back to another episode of Explorer. Now, before we get into any bit of this episode, I actually want to thank you guys like uh, tremendously because uh, after editing the previous episode, which would be episode 2 by now, uh, I actually noticed how many views episode 1 gets because I usually don't keep track of too many views as to how many views you know a video gets and stuff like that. But it got, I believe, over 190, basically 200 views, and that was just out of left field. So, um, again, uh, all the ghost, all the thanks goes to you guys. I don't even know how that even happened, but yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Anyways, all that being said, welcome back to another episode. Now, last time we met, we were about, actually, I would say about 300 blocks or so to towards that direction over there. I actually traveled out quite a bit, and if you actually notice, uh, stuff right now is quite bright because that's because, um, and I'm not gonna turn it off because, I mean, honestly, it's gonna be a little bit clunky, but I do have ourselves um, the brightness enhancer turned on. That basically means that we can basically see stuff a little bit better underground. Now, I say all that because that is last episode, we actually had to do a cut immediately as we began the episode. Today, I don't really want to do that because, um, yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit clunky. So, uh, I actually walked a little bit over to get us get ourselves to this cave so that I can show you guys what we're going to be doing, um, at least to begin off this episode. So, uh, last time we got incredibly stacked. In fact, if you guys don't remember, uh, we got all of this stuff. We have diamonds, we have coppers, uh, we even have ourselves a god apple, which again, one of the best pulls from last episode, and overall, just a lot of good stuff. Now, um, today, I, I feel like, um, I mean, if you just follow the pattern of last episode, every episode is basically going to be the same. So today, I just actually want to try out some different stuff. So that's actually why we're heading down to the cave, um, the very first thing that we are going to be doing for today's episode. So, um, I'm just going to make myself um, all the way down to where the lava spawns because, yeah, we're going to be dealing with a uh, lava and a diamond pickaxe today. So, uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch me just travel down into the cave. I mean, of course, if I find anything good, I will come back to you guys. But other than that, I'm just going to get down to some lava and I'll catch you guys over there. And of course, I wouldn't pass off uh, chances like these. So, I mean, this is honestly the perfect uh, view that I want to have. Um, I just found out a lava lake, turned it into obsidian, and also got some diamonds. Now, um, if you guys couldn't catch my drift earlier, um, yes, I am actually uh, here down for to get some obsidian, uh, which I don't actually remember if I said in the last clip or not. But uh, to get obsidian, of course, you need to get a diamond pickaxe, which we got last episode. So what I'm going to do now is actually just get some uh, obsidian on my hand, actually way more than you might think. And if you're thinking like me, then you already know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but if you don't, uh, I will explain in just a little while. So um, all that being said, let me just get some obsidian. And I, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm just here to get some obsidian. So I guess I'll see you guys over at the random node generator. So, I mean, wherever it is, I will see you guys over there. Alright, and believe it or not, it actually doesn't take all that much time to mine up about um, 40 or so obsidian blocks. <laughs> but anyways, moving into the random node generator, um, generating the first quadrant of the day, I actually want it to be in the positive positive qu uh, quadrant because, you know, we are in that. And even though we are about 8,000 blocks out in the X direction, I am, you know, uh, willing to travel, like, you know, about 6,000 blocks on average. Let's keep it around at 10,000, okay? We don't need to go over 20 like last time. <laughs> Let's just keep it s short and simple. But here, here we go. Anyways, um, if you guys are curious, again, if you haven't um, necessarily been paying attention throughout the last few episodes, X and Z quarters, the minimums at negative 10,000, the maximum is at a 10,000 regular. So here we go, the X corner is going to be negative 714. That is not all that great because we have to travel um, 8,000 blocks and then 700 blocks on top of that, basically meaning that we're going to be traveling 9,000 blocks in one direction. Not all that great. <laughs> Anyways, though, moving on to the Y coordinate, the minimum is at 1, the next maximum is at 375. Again, 375, that means we're going to be subtracting 55 from it, basically meaning that, um, you know, we can go up to the height limit. And all the blocks that, uh, up until now have all been relatively very high, so I actually want something that's closer to the ground, so here we go. 68! Oh! Oh, that's straight up underground! Okay, so if we uh, remove 55 from that, that's 13. So we're going at Y... 
level 13. Okay, so this is gonna be our first block, which is actually going to be underground. Okay, I actually like this one for once. Okay, uh, moving on to our Z coordinate. Again, it's the same thing as with the X coordinate. So again, minimum of 10, negative 10,000 and the positive is going to be at 10,000 for the maximum. Uh, generate and are going to we're going to get 6,737 on the negative axis. So that means we're going to be ne uh, traveling um, at least like, you know, about 10,000 blocks just in one direction. Yeah, we're gonna start off with probably one of the hardest ones. Okay, but anyways, let's get into the world and I actually have something to show you guys. So let's actually check that thing out. Well, now, if you remember the words that I said in the intro that uh, we're gonna be changing some stuff up today. Well, uh, if you also notice the fact that I have 41 obsidian in my inventory alongside a filter steel, you know what's gonna be happening. Now, let me do just a small little bit of um, uh, explaining because uh, if you're thinking of that we are gonna be going into the nether, that is 100% correct. The reason why we're going into the nether is because in the nether, every single block that you travel in the overworld is divided by eight. So every eight blocks in the overworld is one block in the nether. So that basically means that, um, you know, traveling in the nether is going to be eight times as fast as traveling in the overworld. And, um, you know, of course, we're not going to be doing this at every episode. I mean, even if, even if we could, because, you know, it, it would just make my life a lot easier. It would be a little bit boring because, you know, the nether terrain isn't as as beautiful as the overworld terrain however for today's purposes i feel like changing it up will be quite nice now let's actually go over some maps right now so uh if, as you guys saw just a little bit earlier the coordinates that we got was uh, negative 714 so if you divide that by 8 it comes out to negative 90 and it, with the z coordinate that we got was negative 6737 divide that by 8 we get negative 8 43. Now those squares are going to be a lot easier to reach uh, than just traveling uh, for those in the overworld. And so yeah, that's going to be our uh, first thing that we're going to be doing in this episode. Traveling the, to the first coordinate using the obsidian. So here we go. Uh, and this is actually also going to be the first time that we enter the nether on this world. So I'm actually um, both excited and terrified. And of course we are a team without corners. So of course we're going to be skipping out on the corners even though I can can probably do them but I just don't feel like doing it so uh, uh, what are we gonna do huh so anyways uh, here we go I, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more careful so that I don't mess up the corners and yeah there we go so that is our first nether pool that we're gonna be lighting in this world and it might get a little bit laggy so bear with me uh, with the other side but here we go jumping into the nether for the first time hopefully we just don't get wrecked as soon as we spawn in so here we go loading into the nether I didn't even think about the fact that there could be piglets on the other side and I could get murdered the first instant that I come in. I hear gas. I don't do not like that and I don't like my frames dropping this much. <laughs> um, hopefully we can get this thing together. Hey! <laughs> Um, for those of you who can't really see, uh, me, uh, you know, behind the monitor right now, my monitor blacked out for a second. Straight up. But anyways, uh, since we are uh, through the portal, it seems like we have spawned near a soul sand valley and into a nether waste biome, which is actually quite good for us. So um, I guess, yeah, here we go. We are going to be just traveling. Um, okay, that actually scared the living hell out of me. But anyways, as I was going to say, we're just going to be traveling through the nether and I guess I'll get, also get myself a time lapse of that and this is actually also good because if you run into a nether fortress or any good structures we can actually also raid them along the way so um i guess let the nether time lapse commence up before that actually i do actually have to mention the fact that we can't be using um the shader pack in you know while uh, traversing through the nether because the shader pack actually breaks in the nether because the nether is meant to be dark and it can't really do dark things so yeah anyways let the time lapse Alright, I'll keep this nether time that's short and simple. Um, when it comes to traveling to the nether for speed, I am down. However, when it comes to traveling to the nether, traveling to a soul sand valley and a whistle delta, yeah, just count me dead. Anyways, though, a lot of stuff did still happen. We managed to get ourselves an ancient debris, one however though. Uh, and we also ran into a bastion. Now, I would like to run into the other nether structure, but I guess we'll take what it gives us. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, traveling through the nether isn't all that exciting. Most of the time, I was just tunneling. Apart from this clip, though. So, I was heading head first 
into this lava block right here. And uh, I was about to die. I was at one and a half heart. Then I, then the fact that I had my uh, enchanted golden apple in my hot bar actually helped out because I managed to switch out and also eat it right before I was about to die. That, that, I mean, whew, that was close indeed. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Alright, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I didn't expect um, to place down the f um, the fir first corner block in a place like this, but I guess we will have to do. Um, actually, fun fact, since you, you can already see the water dripping down from above, we're actually just under a submerged cave, so that's the reason why water is dripping down. And But anyways, if you look at the top left hand side of the screen, we are currently one block away and bada bing bada boom. There we go. So, um, if you look at the top left hand side of the screen, you'll see negative 714, 13, negative 6737. And the special block that I wanted to go with was a nether brick block because, you know, since we are, this is our first block that we have traveled with, a, with, with the nether, I just thought that it would be a little bit more appropriate to do a nether brick block for it. But anyways, with all that being said, let's go into the next coordinate. Gonna be honest with you, the nether, nether travel was alright, I mean, it, it actually it didn't take me as much time uh, to just purely travel, however, the dangers of the nether actually, yeah, that just caused a big of a problem. But anyways, moving on to our second quarter of the day, so the minimum, again, gonna be t negative 10,000, maximum of 10,000, here we go, the x quarter for our next one is going to be negative 4,863. Um, the last one was 714, so um, I think this is actually kind of in the realm of possibility to do. We might even take the nether up for it, who really knows. Moving on to the Y, since we had our first um, underground one, maybe let's just have one at sea level. And you know, um, you will get the best of all worlds if that's the case. We have um, ones at the sky, ones down in the bottom, maybe just have one in the middle, who knows. But anyways, here's the Y coordinate. Uh, 155 so that's actually really easy math that is going to be y 100 so you know a really easy one to write down for it now and moving on to the z coordinate the negative 10 thousand and positive oh god okay <laughs> positive 10 1 2 3 10 thousand okay so here we go the z coordinate is going to be nine thousand six hundred and ninety nine Okay, alright, um, I believe, I mean, that is, that has to be by far the largest number that we've gotten for a singular one. I, I do believe so, because we, I don't think we have ever gotten one in the 9,000, so, I don't know, this is, I guess, a milestone, but, um, thinking about it, I feel like the best way to do, do this would be through the nether, so I guess, um, let's just do another time lapse in the nether, I mean, I guess so, I mean, this is gonna be a really quick episode if we do so, so. Let's hop into the time lapse, I suppose. So here we go. And so the tragedy hits. Yeah, cue up the tragic music. So, um, in all in all, this bit is actually a little bit anticlimactic because I had actually recorded this clip um, after the fact, you know, in live commentary. However, I guess I wasn't bothered to check if my mic was working or not. But anyways, basically what happened was, after the clip that you saw of me placing down the block on the coordinate, I went back down into my portal because it was underground. And after I went through my portal, um, first of all, um, I didn't hear any mo uh, mob or, I guess, footsteps while entering the portal. So that's the first thing. But after in uh, entering the portal, the loading terrain screen for the nether popped up, you know, with the nether egg and all that. That basically means that I'm no longer in the overworld, but I'm in the nether, but the terrain for the nether is loading. That basically means I shouldn't be affected by anything that happens in the overworld, right? Well, uh, a little bit after, you know, the loading terrain screen was loading up, suddenly I get flashed with you died screen, with the bottom text being you are blown up by a creeper. How the hell did that happen? I was not meant to be affected by anything that happens in the overworld. More than that, like, there wasn't even a creeper when I entered the portal. What happened? But anyways, um, after that happened, um, I had set down my bed next to the original portal that I show you guys when I entered the in nether. However, that was, you know, that was a long distance away from where we were because, you know, we traveled through the nether quite a bit. And so there wasn't really any way to get back to my stuff and I basically lost all of my stuff. After that, um, since I don't have any clips of it, I guess I'll breeze by that. What I decided to do was grind up, um, you know, near the portal and get back to myself. However, night eventually fell. I had broken my bed and I died at the night. So we were spent 
sent back to the spawn. At this point in time, I was really enraged and uh, I thought that it was back to square one. So what I decided to do was uh, grind up uh, actually t at the spawn and then head out for my stuff. So basically, you know, get all the iron, get all the diamonds and all of that and then go after my stuff and the coordinate. So that's actually what I did and it actually went really smoothly. I actually got a lot of iron and even more diamonds that, that we originally had before I died. Uh, it actually went well to the point where um, I was in a cave, so I had come down from a higher level uh, with the use of a water stream. And I had saw some diamonds, um, you know, after I fell down on the uh, higher level, so what I decided to do was, after I grabbed the diamonds on the lower level, I would go back uh, through the water stream, get the diamonds on the higher level, and get, then get out of here. So after grabbing the diamonds on the lower level and fighting off some mobs, uh, I took went to the water stream and headed up, and there was a creeper on the wa water stream. I had two seconds to react to this, and um, you know, I, the first instant that I had was, I'm gonna block this with my shield, but since water doesn't uh, allow you to use your shield, um, I did not have any choice. The creeper blew up, and I blew up. And as you can see on the clip, I actually immediately rage quit because who wouldn't? I spent nearly two hours grabbing all this stuff after I had been blown up two times with two creepers. And now I have been sent back to square one. And I couldn't get all this stuff back because it was deep in a cave and I didn't know the direction. So what did I do in the face of adversity? I went back to square one. But this time, I actually decided that I would just uh, run on a straight line towards my coordinates and I would not care about grinding up. And I guess that Minecraft really wanted to teach me a life lesson because as I was running through, um, oh, I, oh, I guess I have to mention this. I also ran up the shaders because, you know, traveling through the overworld, there's no reason for me to not run up the shaders. So I ran up the shaders, you know, went in a straight line, and I actually encountered a mountain where I was getting loaded up with iron. <laughs> And I guess the message here is that um, uh, don't try to look too hard for success. Success will find you, find you if you're on the right path. And I didn't know even Minecraft could tell me that deep of a message just through blocks. But here we are. Anyways, though, um, I grab, grabbed all that iron and just basically hit it, um, you know, head first into the coordinates. And that was basically that. And I'll let my current self wrap things up. Alright, and here we finally are. It definitely took... <laughs> A lot of trial and error, but finally managed to get here. And also, first of all, I'm really um, sorry for the entire episode. Basically, me being just talking over after the fact. I mean, I don't really have that much of uh, any other choices because, of course, you're when you're recording, you know, long periods of section where you, you can't practically talk over, you know, all of it. Um, you're gonna do time lapses, and of course, doing time lapses, I don't need to talk, and I put down my headset. So, you know, I can basically just focus on the grind and all of that. However, of course, in this episode, I, it would have been better had I been talking over. But anyways, with all that being said, as you can see on the top left-hand side of the screen, and I'll put it up there, uh, we are at negative 4863 and 9699 and 99 on the Y. If you recall, we have to go to Y100. So here we go, 3, 2, 1. Bam. Now you might be wondering why are we placing down a bamboo up top here because usually we place down blocks that you can stand upon and get like, get a look at those coordinates. However, I feel like first of all, um, this trip has been anything but precious and it has been really quite painful. So I don't think um, this, you know, this block deserves to be anything uh, expensive or precious like that. And another thing is that um, since this block is actually in a viewing site, so let's say when I'm passing by this block, um, you know, in my travels to get to another coordinate, if we pass by this, I can actually take a look at this and it will be actually growing up because uh, whenever we pass by close to this, this thing will be actually growing because it's placed upon dirt. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's do our final cheat tech of the day. So if you pop over into settings, uh, here's the seed if you guys haven't seen it from the first episode. But more importantly, if you go into the game mode, click on that. As you can see, it still says turn off achievements with a question mark. That basically means that I still have not cheated yet in this world. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this hectic episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my suffering and also i guess my um upright because we definitely had that towards the end of the episode if you did make sure the like button and if you guys want to stick stick around for more of this series and more video more videos by in general make sure the subscribe button and if you guys want to see more of this series the uh, playlist is always in the description down below alongside the completed coordinates 
But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me from today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!